Good morning and uh, welcome back. Um, I'm just out and about again. Before I go any further, I just want to say thank you so much for the support that you've given me on my last video. I don't usually do uh, videos like this. I, I tend to, if you're new to this channel, I tend to do creating, acting, uh, interviews, stuff like that. But I felt I had to speak out about what's going on in my local area right now. It's, it's, it's gone beyond the joke and I needed to get it off my chest and rant. I had no idea that it would get such a good impact that it did, a good reaction. I've had so much support, so thank you so much. Today, what I thought I'd do is take you on a bit of a walk. Now, here's where I am at the moment. Just on a, uh, on a nice arch bridge, uh, not far from Norton Village. Here we are. Here we go, we're gonna walk down into this woods now. Can you hear it? Silence. And you can hear the birds singing. Footpath. And, and then right next to it, private land for homes. So I'm gonna take you now down to the part where I'm gonna miss the most, really. This whole area, it's gonna be housing soon. And it's gonna be such a sad loss to the community. So all this is going to be the last to go um, when it comes to the Sandy Moor development. It, it come, it'll come encroach this far forward until it hits the canal. And that's, that's going to be the loss of all this land. All this is going to be homes. All this. And all this. And you can see in the distance right there where the housing estate has stopped for now. But all this is going to go. See, I'm getting uh, slightly emotional now because, as you can see, I'm still out in the middle of nowhere. It looks nice. See, that's, that emphasises the point here. This is like a pond, which is going to be surrounded by houses. Floodplain. And look at this. If I keep seeing another one of these sodding signs, oh, it just does me head in, honestly. We are... Here. And as you can see, it used to be for agricultural and now it's saying Homes England on it. Oh, hello Mr. Sheep. You alright? I beg your pardon. I've got no food. I don't think you should cross this way. It's probably going to get chased by a sheep. <laughs> but all this land here, all, everything you can see here will be houses if they have their way. I think this is the area that Mike is talking about. I'm going to go back around uh, to the other side. I'm going to show you some more stuff around this way. Look at how beautiful this is. Unspoilt, untouched. Beautiful. So I've managed to get back onto the main track now because <laughs> I managed to get stuck in stuck in some watery fields there. But um, as you can see, we're walking down again. Basically, no one around. This is all this is all uh, nice nature walks, countryside walks. When you're down here, you realise how precious this this whole area is that they're just going to sacrifice in the name of housing, um, even though. Runcorn has, has basically done its part for the best part of how many decades where they've just been building on tons of land. That Runcorn used to be very leafy and very, very countryside orientated, but not anymore, eh? Oh, look, another sign. 
that sign should basically say we're screwing up the environment to put these houses in. You're welcome. My mate Leora from uh, London came up recently and she took a picture of this arch and said she, it was the best, one of the best photographs she'd ever taken because of the symmetry of it all and the nature of it all. Oh look, another sign. So we're coming out now to the main area of what I can only describe as beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So as you can see, that's where I was before, all the way over there. So all this land here is is under planning applications at the moment. I think that's that's what my games being what I was alluding to. It's on the other side. See where those uh, white houses are over there. That's up from this point on all the way up to their houses. But we're trying to stop it. And look, there you go again, another sign. If you go up to the top of the hill there where I've just zoomed in, all that top bit there behind the pylon, all the way along is going to be houses soon. You can just see in the distance there, they've started building them. So all that's going to be houses, that's going to be already ruined. This bit looks overgrown here, that's going to be like a where all the water sort of drains away into. It's going to be like a ma massive lake, which would, be, which would be good. But the problem is, is what we're losing in, in return for that. It's like we get gain in the lake. <laughs> But, you know, all this is going to be housing. I mean, you can see in the distance there, can't you? They're already spoiling the view. And this isn't me saying this because I am going, oh, not on my backyard. I just, when this is the last part of countryside that we've got, you've got to hold on to it with, for dear life, haven't you? I didn't even notice this before, but you can see there, can't you? Where they've fenced off all the way along and that's where the houses are going to come up to up to, up to this point and just just after the fence they're going to, to go all the way along this bank here up to there what a bloody waste now here is what i like to call nature it's my favorite spot this is a river inland river it leads leads through the, the hills and down here and runs off down here at the moment, if you look through the arches there, you can see that it's just basically countryside, then a stream, all very quiet, apart from the odd passing train from up there. But And this is where I tend to come and, come and sit and meditate and look at the wildlife and not hear any noises from, from any civilization. If you follow this down to here, I have to be careful now because it's going to get very slippy around here. You can see that the, the river follows this, this nice gentle course down to here. Comes around to here. Let's be careful around here. Now if you see where nature is around here, barely an island around. It's a lovely, lovely area for it's a nice safe haven for all the wildlife, like birds, foxes, badgers, stuff like that. But if you look through these trees here, you can just about make out that they're starting to come very close with their housing development. And on the plans, it's looking like they're going to come right up to that where that gap is there. So all the space that's, that is right now in the middle of nowhere, isolated, the only part of nature we've got is going to be encroached by people in houses. Now if you listen, what can you hear? Nothing. No traffic. No people. Nothing. But the further you go along to this part, a lovely, look at that, lovely, absolutely gorgeous here. But then you can start to hear a little rumble now, aren't you? This has moved faster than the last time I came. So if you just turn around this corner here, this all used to be open fields, grass, forest. And you can hear the rumbles of something going on around here. So you used to be able to walk through here. And it used to be a nice secluded spot where you could walk through. But as you can see, the housing development is already moved pace and it's now down this way so if we turn around 
and follow this track down this way that this area which were you could have walked and been completely isolated and alone from anyone with this inland river and birds and stuff sooner or later soon enough with all these houses being built just there it's no longer going to be secluded anymore it's going to be right on the doorstep and it's, it's not going to have that special nature reserve aspect to it so as you move away from the work workmen areas you can see that uh, there's barely one here and it's very quiet again, it's gone very peaceful. We're in, we're in a part of a woodland now. The Woodland Trust manages this, but it's shrinking. Now I'll tell you what, I've been walking through a bit now in, in this part of the woods and it's absolutely gorgeous. I remember as a kid, I used to walk through here quite a bit um, just to get away from the main area of Runcorn because Runcorn Newtown sort of stopped near Wilmer Hill and stuff like that um, and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous lots of open space but we're starting to hear rumbles again so we're gonna come this way now through the through the main area of the forest and let's see what we find So instead of walking out into open space, all this new housing development is here now instead. And look all that over there now, right next to the woods, right next to where nature would, would have been left alone. But obviously Sandy Moor is getting huge now. And as you can see, all new development. So I realise in, in when I was talking about this and obviously the woodlands they're still there but they're being sort of cornered and all four, all four sides of the forest are being sort of um, pushed in and it's somewhere you can't really go to, to be alone really and, and to enjoy nature because that nature is disappearing and I do admit that Sandy Moor is something that I've known about for a long time as you see, all, the, all these areas here are brand new. If you look around this way, you can see where all the runcorn stopped, uh, where the water tower is, and uh, all the trees are still sort of there. So they've made a massive effort to, to maintain the greenery in runcorn. And then it sort of stopped here where, where the countryside uh, sort of met up with Arsbury and, and it kept it open space for people to enjoy. Again, look, another sign. See, all this area is is definitely going to be built on because it's already there, it's already in the pipeline, they're already moving this way forward. I'd rather they didn't. Uh, but if they did build here on this part, then what I'd like it to do is stop right there where that gate is there but they're not. They're gonna continue past that gate onto the next field and in the next field until, until they reach the canal. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the where the housing development in Sandy Moor has stopped right now. This, these are the fields that I showed you. Cross this road here, and then all this is going to. So look, some geese. Hello, geese. Make the most of it while you can. But I'll call this. Imagine this, right? All this area here, just full of people and houses. Oh, let's have a look at these a minute. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> Beautiful. It's lovely. But yeah, another house, another, another lovely sign. All this open space here is also going to be houses all the way up to the edge of the canal where I'm taking you to now. Part of unspoiled beauty, countryside. You can just see the other housing development over there that's been here for a while, but all this is destined to go. I don't know when, I think it's just as soon as the Sandy Mall lot start catching up. But we're just about to head out onto the canal now. So you come through here, straight onto the canal, and you can see where the old developments in Runcorn just sort of stop on that side and you don't encroach 
So what we're going to do is I'm going to go down this way and show you what me, Mike Ainsbury and the rest of us are moaning about. Just closing up on the uh, bridge in question, which has become synonymous with the way this development's been pushed forward. It's sort of the symbol of what we could lose, really. As you can see, it's got all of its crane still intact from the olden days when it used to be used for, for boating and stuff and doing its job. Oh look, there's a heron as well. Can you see the heron? It'll probably fly away now. Hopefully we can get its wingspan on camera. It's all right, Mr. Heron, we're all right. To be fair, it usually flies away beforehand. There we go. So you're not going to get much of them in, in this area if there's going to be houses on the, other, on the other field. Lots of lovely birds and wildlife all around this area. There's a marina village not far from here too. Hello. So this is what we're fighting for. This whole area here. This is what's going to go. This is what we need to stop. It's already bad enough that they're doing it at the top of the hill there. And, but they're going to do all this here as well. Here's a flyer that I've superimposed throughout the video anyway, but it is for your reference. So there you have it. I've took you around all the areas that are definitely going to be built on. And this area here, which is what we're fighting for, and the, obviously the bridge as well. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them, these people. So if you feel the way I do, and all the other people on the group do, please share this video, get Mike Ainsbury on the blower, but we need to stop this from happening because literally it'll be the last part of the green belt we've got left. It's it's too too late, I suspect, for Sandy Moore, but for this, it's all in our power. If we can just save this part, even better. Anyway, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. See you soon. Thank you very much.